and I will update you on the market risk. Sorry, over here. So um, I'll update you on the market risk and um, business development progress. So um, one thing that we learned two years ago when we went through the Lean Launchpad um, Business Accelerator um, cohort was um, one question we were asked is, well, if you want to um, develop a sunburn cream that could be applied um, following sunburn, um, what's your mode of compensation? So like, what channel are you going to use? Would it be over the counter? Would it be um, something that is prescribed um, and available through pharmacy? So um, at the time, we um, didn't have any market risk analysis of the sunburn market. But um, recently, um, a paper came out showing that there is a market for um, sunburn um, in the United States through ER visits. And not surprisingly, um, for the males, I was in that exact same demographic when I got my severe sunburn and ended up in the ER. Um, so we're, um, this is one um, thing that we're pursuing, is doing this um, market assessment. And then um, another update is we're um, in the midst of developing a new cream technology that's um, GMP grade and working on the formulation science. And um, Alex Meaves, the dermatologist on our team, is initiating um, preparing for first in human UV studies. So using MED patients to um, study the effects of our um, cream. So like they would receive the MED or UV treatment um, the cream would be administered to stand for four hours, and then after 48 hours, um, which is similar to the timeline we use in preclinical models, we would assess um, treated versus untreated skin. Um, I'm also, um, our team is interested in radiation dermatitis, so I'm collaborating with colleagues here at the University of Minnesota to um, develop a new mouse model for radiation dermatitis. So we're using a clinical veneer accelerator that's been adapted for mice to um, look at um, inducing radiation dermatitis in mice, and then this is a prerequisite to first in human um, IRB studies um, that our team would be conducting um, with radiation dermatitis patients at Mayo Clinic. Um, finally, um, we've also um, progressed in business development over the last 10 months. Um, we just recently recruited a professional CEO with business expertise, so Amanda Bedell um, is a co-founder of New Flowers. Um, a Bay 3 um, startup, and she also has a wealth of um, market research and um, PR experience um, with nonprofits. So, with that, um, I'd like to thank um, the organizers for the opportunity to speak, and um, we're interested in forming partnerships and we're interested in investment partners once we um, progress through the free IND first in human studies. Thank you very much. So we um, have preclinical mouse data showing that it works um, for sunburns and like the mechanisms of UV um, UV radiation are similar to the mechanisms of um, radiation. Um, that's ex so like patients undergoing radiation therapy. So um, Stella Arcono, one of our team, she came up with this hypothesis during our launch pad experience. And um, that's why we're, um, I'm, I'm initiating the studies with the uh, preclinical mouse model radiation dermatitis. So in fact today, um, my collaborators here at the U are um, doing the first studies in live mice, um, initiating the radiation dermatitis, and then um, once we have the model worked out, we'll apply the cream and see if it's efficacious um, for radiation dermatitis. And then um, the other skin diseases, um, that I mentioned, like psoriasis and such, could be um, potential applications. So um, the short answer is that um, sunburn, we have preclinical data, and radiation dermatitis, we're initiating that preclinical study. Yes? So, um, I'm not sure if you're familiar with 
So I'm Irish, so I understand the pain. <laughs> yes, I can relate. <laughs> but don't you retain DNA damaged cells if you have the cream that suppresses the sloughing? Right, that's a great question. So um, we, I didn't show, have time to show this data today, but um, we have performed studies um, with a, a B16 mouse melanoma model, and we showed that um, when mice were um, challenged with the B16 melanoma and then exposed to UV and administered the cream, we saw a reduction in the melanoma. So I, I don't think that directly answers your question, but that's something we're thinking about. Um, when we went through um, the Startup Accelerator Launchpad program, that was something we iterated on was the chronic market. So like we, um, the customer archetype of um, basically like skin cancer survivors, that we got a very strong signal from them in our market research that like they would be very interested in such a cream, but it's really hard to prove efficacy and to do those studies um, in patients um, to show the chronic effects or show that um, the afterburn cream could prevent um, reoccurrence of cancer and things like that just because the timeline would be so large or long. Yes? So is, is your plan then this will be a pharmaceutical product that will be sold with therapeutic claims or will this be an over-the-counter? What, what, what's your commercialization plan? Right, that's something we've talked about quite a bit and right now we're leaning towards it being um, the former, so a, um, a prescription that would, there'd be an insurance code for it and um, we've talked to um, people in the radiation dermatitis space at Mayo Clinic and um, people who are involved with insurance compensation. And I mean, the price point of like $500 to $1,000 for um, such a therapy if it worked um, would definitely be achievable and compensated by insurance because right now there's um, therapies that are in that price range that aren't effective, that the insurance companies pay for. Yes? Uh, do you need to go through the new drug submission process? The no, what submission? New drug submission. New drug submission. Oh, yes, so um, that's a great question. We, um, we've had mixed responses from that. So um, we've talked to regulatory people, and um, if it's a new, for, because it's a new use, um, we have, heard that we would need to like go through the IND process. So most likely yes, although um, there may be um, ways around that. All right, any last questions? All right, let's thank Luke.